you played this December in Copenhagen for the uh, International Climate Conference. Yes. Um, just some thoughts on that, on, on, on really how, what, you, you talked about the troubles facing the world. How is the role of the artist changing? What is the role of the artist going to be in a world of ice melt? I know it gets heavier, the chords, yes, you know. Plus nine now. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Well, as someone I who have, is 69, y yes. how much of a sense of resignation is there that, okay, this is for the young people, this is, you know, I, I've lived, yeah. you know, this is for other people yeah. to, to, to solve? Are you asking, yeah. do I feel, yeah. no, not at all, okay. not at all, no, I think we all have our, our, our thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but I must admit, either I my eyes are more open than they used to be, or the world is heavier, more full of trouble than I think it was. I'm working very close to the rehabilitation center for torture victims, yes, yes. which was uh, started in Denmark. Right. And the things I I knew it, it was always there, but my feeling is that it's getting worse. That's what they say hmm. in the center. That, that feeling of uh, you can uh, torture in general. Mm -hmm. That the systems are torturing everywhere. I mean, it's just one one cross uh, right, in, right. in the cemetery of crosses. Sure. That that's the one I've seen. But what what can we do? I don't know. <sighs> Sometimes you feel you can do nothing. Hmm. And at the same time, you feel, of course, like we hopefully did last night and other events and, and at the climate conference. Offer them a bouquet, which is what Offer you described. Offer them a flower, yes. What you described for the exactly, torture victims. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Offer them a, a bouquet, a flower in the bouquet, or if there is a bouquet, or a single rose or something. Hopefully that, that will do something. Now here's a question that maybe yeah, we can look at it in yeah. musical terms. Yes. Uh, 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 another heavy question. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm curious to see what you think this this chord will be. But okay, so uh, offering peace of mind with music. Yeah. How much, when we do that, must we, as musicians, give some exploration or some voice to the darkness, the ugliness, and the suffering, particularly with the uh, with 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 uh, the, the International Rehabilitation Center yes, for Torture yes, Victims. Yes, yes. Um, how much, instead of just maybe giving them something pretty, yes. is there, yeah, uh, yeah. how much of a danger is there that it won't carry, it won't have resonance it, for them? It, because it, it, You're absolutely right, because I think about that. Is there another way, or could it be done politically, or, mm -hmm. uh, or, or should it not be done at all? Or, and who am I, who am I to, who am I to judge what is right? I just think if it hurts like hell, if you beat somebody, mm -hmm. it's not good. If you do like this, I think it's better. You play them some miles. You play, play them some miles. You, you think that if you played miles or Ravel, as we often say, Helen and, and myself, instead of heavy metal, uh, over the speakers, <laughs> maybe they, you, it yeah. would be much harder to go out and kill somebody if you heard the Duff de Cicloé. You know. Wouldn't it? I don't know. Well, and, some and, of us and, find and, beauty in heavy metal too, but, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. When I say that, I just mean the loudness. Sure, no, sure. I find I find beauty in heavy metal. Honestly, believe me, I'm very much on the, on that trip as well. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I just mean heavy sounds, sure, not heavy sure, metal, sure. but heavy sounds. Sure, oh, there are some aggressive groups. sounds. Aggressive sounds. Yes. Yeah, there's some groups that uh, have explored. Uh, there's a, there's, a, there's a group out of England that explored in a video recently how they use music to torture people now. And, exactly. Um, and, uh, yeah. and so that was what I meant. It's very interesting. But you, you, you have to have the feeling that if they played Miles at some uh, some international <laughs> political conventions, it might maybe put it in their sleep or something in, yes. the, in the headphones. Yeah. It might affect the decisions that are made. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And I'm not a missionary. And I have no mission apart from making my way as, clo as clear and as right as I find right as possible. I'm not a missionary and I have no message I don't feel and I'm not sure that I can overlook 
the flatted face you put on the court at the end. <laughs> the devil's <laughs> interval. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not sure it would help. Maybe it will help for five minutes, ten minutes, a month. I don't know, we often talked about it. Talk about sure. That. That's sort of the thing that I guess the artist is never at liberty to really understand. Exactly. You just feel compelled to do it. And, and maybe that's, it. that's why... Maybe not for us to answer. Exactly, maybe not. But if you look at history, if you see all these composers that we admire, Bartok, Beethoven, blah, 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 they all have a sad, sad message in a way. Hmm. They're all sad because they're so close to heaven. It's just, it's just like, I often find uh, Beethoven and Coltrane hmm. are part of the same Mozart miles and, uh, you know, and, uh, compare them in a way to, to, to what they tell. Almost like the same lineage or the same exactly. family. In the same family, mm -hmm. exactly, yes. But I, it, it's very hard to find people who are so close to heaven. They got a key to heaven, but they know that this is not heaven. Right, and they can see everything that's painful they, about here. They can see what's maybe painful, what tortures and them. they can feel that they're... I'm just shooting now. Right. Maybe, maybe they can see Otherwise, they couldn't compose or arrange or whatever, mm -hmm. like they do, unless Messiaen, with his Catholic background, which I'm not Catholic at all, but uh, with his background, he's so full of belief in in the spiritual world, in that there is a meaning. And when I hear it, yes, I, can, I know what you mean, but maybe it's like the Zen Buddhist. Those who speak do not know, those who know do not speak. Alan Watts. Yeah, Alan Watts. Yes, yes, yes. I read that you yes. you you, yes. Uh, yes. you you were introduced yes. to, to, to the, the yeah, yeah, Alan right. Watts' exactly. writings. Yes. Um, yes. Well, well, and that's very modest of you because some people would say that they felt the same at your show last night. So, so that, 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 that's the. Thing. I, I hope that we that our story came out as this is for honest people who are doing this, like like not. But yeah, for honest people. Right, because it wasn't just serene sounds. There was there was chaos. There was friction. Exactly. There was yes, uh, yes. tumultuousness in the yes. performance, particularly in Maryland's. Yes. And even in Helen's, you know, you you go in and you you see the harp. And you go, oh, that's a beautiful instrument. And then some of the things yes. she was doing more discreetly are exactly. kind of exactly. you know a little thorny. To exactly. Them. So 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 the whole bouquet. It, thanks a lot. It was such a pleasure. Thanks for speaking with us. Thank thank you. Best of pleasure. All the best. Yes. I hope that was <laughs> the chords were the chords were very very good. I'm honored that, that, that you thought the chords were challenging. Oh yes, they were. Yes. <laughs> Think if he had started with just a bum 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 chord, where would we have been now? <laughs> Thanks God, he he put some color in them. Yes.